Hi, welcome back. In previous video, we have seen how to create the camera tracking and we have exported the camera trackings to FBX format. Now we'll see how to import the camera trackings in Maya. So we'll open Maya. Now in Maya, we will import the camera trackings which has been done in Nuke. Now we'll go to file. We have to click on import. So click on this FBX. So make sure you have to put it to all files here. So then only you can see the files. So make sure you have to put it to all files and click on this camera tracks FBX, which has been imported from the Nuke. So click on import. Now after importing, you can see uh, now it has been imported all the tracking points, which has been done in Nuke and also the camera. And when you press play here, now you'll get the same moments as the original video. So now these are the tracking points here. So first of all, I need to uh, like change the size. So as I said, like I have exported the plane too because when we, whenever we want to place any model, it will be the exact position we can place the model perfectly without searching for any tracking points. So what the thing is now, uh, these are the tracking points. First, I need to scale down because the tracking points are very big. So I need to select this and just I will deselect the camera and deselect plane too and just scale it. So no problem, you can scale these tracking points, but make sure you don't move the tracking points. So just you need to scale here. Okay. So now, first of all, we'll check. So now what the thing is, uh, we want to see from the camera view. So in order to do that, we can go to the panels perspective and here we can select the camera. So this is a camera now. Now if I click on play, so we are getting the exact moment. So now what the thing is, whatever the model we want to place, we can place exactly on this plane so that it will match to the footage. And first of all, what the thing is, now I want to import the footage too because I need an exact reference where we are placing the model here. So now at present, the camera is not showing the footage. So we need to import the footage uh, onto the camera so that we can exactly place the model wherever we want. So in order to do that, first select the camera. So here in camera shape, we have to go to environment. In environment, there is an option like image plane. So in order to import this uh, sequence, we have to click on this create and make sure whatever the video you are going to import, it has to be in the sequence because Maya will not support the video file. So make sure uh, whatever the footage you have done, it has to be in the sequence here. Now here we have to click on this create. So click on create. And now here we have to browse the footage. So in the image name, we have to click on this folder. Click on this and go to the location where the footage is. So select only one image and click on open. And after that, make sure you have to enable this option. Use image sequence because if you're not enabling this, the video will not be played. It will show only single image. So make sure you have to enable this. Now if you go to the perspective, camera now you can see the footage and also if i play you'll get exact camera movements and also uh, what the thing is i will create the layer for this plane too because later on i want to hide this so we'll create the layer and make sure if you want to create the layer we have to select this and go to the layers and click on create layer and you can name it like plane and click on save. Now what the thing is, uh, now we need to create the layer for the tracking points where you want to place the model because uh, remaining tracking points, I want to make it separate here. So what the thing is, whatever the tracking points are important, you place in separate layer here. And if you want to go, you can go to the footage so you can see the proper tracking points here. Just I will hide the thing. And make sure don't move the camera because it will make an animation because you have enabled the auto keyframe also. So make sure you disable the auto keyframe and also I don't want to move the camera here. So that's why what we need to do is we need to lock the camera too. So we have to select the camera and make sure here all the attributes we have to select right click and click on lock selected so that whenever we are in the camera, by mistakely, we will not able to orbit this. So we'll select the tracking points wherever you want. 
So still I need to uh, decrease the tracking point size here. Okay, so in this way. So now we will select the tracking points. And by selecting all those tracking points, I will create separate layer. So layer, create layer so that we'll name it as like main tracks and click on save. Uh, for timing, I will hide that and I will go to the perspective and select all other tracking points. Create layer. And these are like extra tracks. And what we'll do is we will hide that extra tracks and we will enable only the main tracking able to place the model perfectly in this location here. And it is an easy way to create the layers uh, for the tracking point so that it will be easy for us to place the model wherever we want. So now, for example, I will show uh, I will create a box here. So now what the thing is we have to place this box exactly to the level of tracking points and make sure when we are placing this model, make sure this has to be exactly on the top of the tracking points. OK, so because if you are not placing exactly on the uh, top of the tracking points, the tracking will not look perfectly because see whenever I put the model a little bit down underneath the like tracking points. So if I go to the perspective and camera, so when I place it, it doesn't look like it has been exactly on the ground. So it, it is making kind of sliding here. See the exactly the model is not uh, making perfect track here. So what the thing is we need to place the model perfectly. Above the tracking points. So that now if you go to the perspective camera now see exactly it is looking like it has been placed on the ground. So I will delete the model for time being and make sure you have to save this project too. So we have to go to file and click on save. So in the next video, I will show how to place a model with the realistic lighting and how to place the shadows.